Biden, he's going to send um, Blanken. And if we stay out of this fight, if we stop supplying um, uh, Israel, right? Here's Israel here. Um, if we stop sending Israel with weapons, because they have an Iron Dome, and the Iron Dome was supposed to, which is which, which cost one point six billion dollars <laughs> this year alone. Um, in twenty two, two thousand twenty two, we sent. Um, Sorry for, for this. I have to put it back in the holder. 2022, we sent, um, I don't know how much we sent in 2022. Um, probably another billion dollars. And in 2020, let me put my thing back up here. In 2021, we sent a billion dollars. Or more for that for that um, Gaza Strip. I mean, for the um, for the for the dome, and I don't understand why we keep sending so much money every year. There are batteries to make it run, of course, and the batteries cost fifty thousand dollars uh, for the panels, to, and then the, the f to make each of the panels run, and the panels are called inceptors, so that it can in send send something to blow up the bombs that are coming toward the buildings. It, uh, they're called interceptors, and those are like five hundred thousand dollars each, uh, or um, fifty thousand to five hundred thousand dollars each. These incept inceptors. They're also supposed to be used to protect the the United States in some way, so that they they give us information as well to protect the United States in case you know something happens, and they protect us, and they can help you know send intercept what's being talked about. They can hear what's going on in case something is somebody is um, talking about s destroying us, and then they can send us information. It's a bunch of bullshit, and so that's why we're invested, and that's why we keep sending information. Listen. This, this project started, if I'm not mistaken, and I could be off a few years, 2011, 2013. Um, the United States, ex States existed before 2013, before 2011. Yes, we were attacked in 2011. They got on the plane, they came over here and they dropped some bombs. So this was the perfect ex example for us to funnel money to Israel ever since then, <laughs> right? And so ever since then, we've been sending all this money. And every time we ask for reparations or we ask for money for Americans that live in America, not just black people, it's, oh, if we put... Uh, do that, we're going to put our grandbabies in debt forever. Remember all the arguments that all of the, you know, even if you ask for money for white people, oh, we can't do that. We're going to put our grandbabies in debt. But every time it's time for war for Afghanistan or there's, there's a war for Israel or uh, Zelensky over there in whatever his country is, we don't worry about our grandbabies. Why? Why, America? Why? Because that money is put under the budget, the war budget. Nobody can ask any questions about the war budget. Why? Because the war budget is the only budget that you fund the money and then it is controlled by the White House.
right? Congress doesn't need to, you don't need to go back to get approval for any spending of that budget. It's for the war. In case there is a war. You know, and this is how this money is funneled around. Both with Israel and with and Egypt, special projects. The potential for a mass special projects that need to be funded. That's all through the White House. And it's not fair that everybody is coming on television and all of the TV uh, radio stations are talking about um, the families that were kidnapped and shot by Hamas and the, um, that the Hamas were terrorists and they were butchers and it's not right that she was murdered and it is not right that she was murdered. <clears throat> but it's also not right that uh, Netanyahu responded by bombing It's not right that Netanyahu responded by bombing Get on the road. Oh, shit. It's not right that Netanyahu responded by bombing entire neighborhoods. How is that right? That Hamas, oh, shit, bombed the hell kid went and kidnapped the israelites handcuffed them then shot them and left them in the street that's wrong right but then the prime minister of israel took bombs and dropped them on the neighborhoods of the palestinians how does that justify how is that justified you mean to tell me in America, because somebody used this as an example, the KKK going after the Muslims. If the KKK went after the Muslims, right? A group of KKK, let's say in Mississippi, went after the Muslims in Mississippi, you mean to tell me it is okay for Biden, our president of the United States, to have the army bomb the entire state of Mississippi and just blow up the whole fucking state? Is that what you're telling me? That Biden should do as the president of the United States that Biden should have the entire state of Mississippi floored and every woman, child, senior citizen, every person, just so that he can wipe out every KKK that killed a Muslim. He should have the entire state of Mississippi blown the fuck up. Every building, every school, every child to make sure that he got every KKK. He should blow that motherfucking state up to smithereens. That's what you're telling me that Biden should do? 
Just blow Mississippi off the face of the goddamn earth. Because that's what Netanyahu is doing to the Palestinians right now. See, in the United States, we have the army go down there and make sure they get every KKK member in the state of Mississippi, turn over every leaf, go through every forest, knock on every door, go in every basement and get the dogs, get the machines, take your personnel and you turn over every leaf until you get every motherfucker, you shake down everybody, lock up everybody that got information or a warrant or that knows any information. See, that's what the fuck you do. You don't kill every goddamn buddy in the state of Mississippi. So don't tell me that every Palestinian should die because Hamas Palestinians are murdering Jewish people in Israel. Don't tell me that. See, black hearts like Biden, Kamala, Blinken, Netanyahu, and any motherfucking buddy else who says that Palestinians who have nothing to do with the organized group of um, Hamas Palestinians and Hezbollah Palestinians, that those innocent people, men, women, senior citizens, children, babies, that those people should die by being in their house and having the whole building go up and smoke. You black motherfucking black hearted sons of bitches, you motherfuckers that say tax dollars, American tax dollars and resources should be used to blow those people up. You motherfuckers are the ones that should be blown the fuck up. And this is why people like Hezbollah and Hamas exist. You make those people exist. Biden, Kamala, Blinken, you make those people exist. Yes, they are wrong but they are wrong because you are wrong. So it's hard for me to argue against those people because you make those people exist. When you murder their loved ones, every time you blow up a building, you create a Hezbollah. Every time you kill an innocent person, you create a Hamas. How many more did you just create? Today, when you blew up those innocent people, how many more did you just create? Blinken, Biden, Kamala, how many more did you just create? that didn't exist before you gave money to Netanyahu to blow up those buildings of those innocent Palestinians. They didn't exist. They didn't exist. You are creating them because you this motherfucker that belongs in prison, Netanyahu. You create them and then you call them terrorists. You are the terrorist. And don't tell me that I hate Jews. I don't hate anybody. I am a black American. I'm black because you stole my culture. You still haven't paid me reparations, Biden. Remember, you promised reparations to black people, but you don't have money for reparations for the black Americans that used to vote for you. 
That's why your numbers are down. Because you haven't paid us reparations, but you're still sending a billion dollars to this black-hearted motherfucker so he can kill Palestinians. Land that did not belong to the Israelites. Land that he was supposed to share with the Palestinians that he still has not done. Which is why they are still arguing over land that does not rightfully belong to him. If he has been removed, <clears throat> this would not be 